Joe Strutter's down here playing Enchantress in Modern. It's a kind of a budget build still, no ley lines yet. Just one greater Oromancy. But I do have the fetch lands and such from other decks. So this is what we're gonna try. Still unsure about Nyctos. If you have any changes you think I should make to the deck, consider the budget. But uh, yeah, uh, updates are welcome. The card I'm most unsure of is Nyctos. My opponent is Jandis Array. Hello, good sir. Here I don't fear lands as much as I do in other decks. The reason I'm skeptical about Nyctos is of course that I play two colors. I think Nyctos is only really good in one color decks. There is absolutely nothing happening in my hand. So he can just short seize. Oh, did I tournament practice now? Okay, this could be rough. Yeah, I did. This deck probably belongs in the casual room. So he will thought seize the oblivion ring and then I will be in trouble. So we better draw something. So we should just deploy Utopia Sprawl on the forest. So I could start with Temple Garden here. And pray the Sprawl for green. And then I have to put... I should get a forest for the other one. Does he main deck Ghost Quarter? Are we gonna risk it for the real effect? Uh, I am looking at Goldfish. Does Jand main deck land destruction? They probably do because of Tron. Okay, this deck that I'm looking at does not main deck it. So, but we still place it on another land, I think. So let's get the forest. Put them both on that forest. Okay, now Nyctos works, but uh, we just don't have the mana for anything. But one idol on here and we can start, start going. Grim Flayer? I don't remember that. Maybe it's a new card. No, Delirium is a new card. How do you fit that into Jund? So much mana. Ah, Nyctos. There is still an Emrakul in my deck. But we are quite far off from Emrakul. We are 10. That would be fun. But uh, 10 mana is a long way away from... I can't count, right? I'm only getting two mana from the Nyctos. So I'm just at eight. Not looking good. And another Grim Flare. So I have two turns to live. 
<coughs> Sorry. God, my voice is not stable. So now we really need an, uh, an enchantment creature. Maybe this all came down to just taking the mulligan. I would be very happy to see a sideboard plan for this deck because I'm not sure how to sideboard. I did some mistakes in the last match against the 8-rack. Uh, there are more matches. There are matches on both channels with this deck, Magic Gathering Strat and Magic Gathering Strat 2. Oh, my dear. Okay, I will never get to Emre Cool Mana. Getting a f Temple Garden, I guess. Uh, okay, that kind of saves me, right? Although um, Liliana will still destroy me. I got to f I went up to four Oblivion Rings just because of Liliana's. But he skillfully thought, thought sees that out of my hand, so I don't have that luxury. And I will die to Liliana. Or Chandra. Okay. Discard some cards. What's the ultimate? It's six. Planeswalker is definitely a problem. He can't attack and I really must get going. Look at this. Look at the sweet card. But it takes too long, right? And I'm sure there is something stupid here that I will die to. Tarmogoyf! Uh, what the hell happened? Targeting didn't fly. Return target. Was I two life? Oh, it was some Chandra effect? I don't get it. Okay. Well, we got the anti-creature tech, we got the sort of the main, he's not a single call deck. Swear of safety does a lot against him. But what would you take out for it? I don't think we need Nick's Fleece Rams. I'm going to bring in another swear. Tell me how you would have sideboarded. Nick's Fleece Rams are against much more aggro decks. He's in typically jammed mid range. Okay, play first. Wow, another do nothing hand. So we learned a lesson and we mulligan. And this I can work with. Play Arbor Elf. 
Our Elf must live. Put that on top. And then we can get fertile ground out here. Oh, it's another oblivion ring going away. Oblivion ring vulnerable to everything. I think I'm actually... This is not a bad matchup at all. I just need to get going. But that's the difficulty of the deck. Maybe I should have bottomed this land. I can play my entire hand here, right? So yes. Sprawl. For green. Tap it for green. Uh, play this thing. Untap it. And now I put all on Temple Garden instead of on the forest. That was probably a super big mistake. If we can destroy the land now, this will be horrible. But I'm in top decking mode after <laughs> on turn two with nothing. I do have five mana. Here's an oblivion ring that I cannot use. Corsair. More lands, yay. But I can play that now, yes. <laughs> and the journey. I believe Corsair will die. And that he will probably not play creature now. Because if he does, I will be ready. I guess him playing Liliana now is pretty good, but it's Chandra, that's still pretty good, right? She should just kill him. And I kill Chandra. But Planeswalkers are definitely a problem for this deck. No! And he still has four cards, so... Um, we need one of the prison cards. But we don't get it. Oh, taking eight, like a boss. I'm glad I brought in another Sphere of Safety. Because that will be kind of fantastic right now. I guess we'll have to settle for Journey. Buying us plenty of time. Oh, it's a raging ravine, so you can just pump it. Right, this is the one that pumps. No? Oh, it just gets a counter. 
So I guess I'm dead next turn. And uh, that is exactly what happens. No luck yet for the enchantment deck, but there is a win with it on the reserve channel. Back to the castle room. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize-supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat.